Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me for episode 71 of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. Today we're going to be taco batting some comfort foods. Um, we're also going to be talking about a couple meals I have planned for this week. Uh, if anybody who joins me live wants to ask questions, I'm happy to answer questions the whole time as well. So let's um, get to going and I want to start with a story, a story about some comfort food. It's about tacos, of course. Um, so I am from Los Angeles, right? We have really good tacos here. I grew up having tacos probably once a week. I kid you not. Um, it was like a machine. When mom said tacos, we split up those chore, like I don't want to say chores, but like assignments, right? One of us made shredded cheese and shredded the lettuce. One of us chopped the tomatoes. One of us browned the meat. One of us fried the shells because, oh my gosh, fresh fried shells. Oh, oh, in canola oil. Mm, that is some good stuff. Kind of makes me cringe now, but dang, those were good. Um, I now lightly fry my... <laughs> Oh, my dog is having an issue. We are sneezing like crazy over there. Uh, I lightly, whenever I lightly fry my um, shells, words escaping me as she totally distracts me, um, my husband gets all excited. He is bummed that I do not deep fry them anymore uh, like I used to or totally pan fry them. Um, but you know we're just a little bit healthier now and when we want crunchy tacos we just we go out and I don't ask questions because that's a treat um so that, so that is my favorite meal that I ever made with my family so it literally good. like clockwork like we just all did it no asking questions no anything and um I don't know why but we always had Catalina dressing none of us kids liked spicy and my parents weren't into spicy so like jalapenos no and then I don't know why but we never had avocados in the house I don't remember having guacamole when I was a kid but I love it now and we always have fresh guacamole now okay so that's totally fine so because none of us like spicy my parents still are not like spicy people right so we always had Catalina dressing and that's what we put on our tacos. The Catalina dressing is basically like sweet ketchup. Why like you so thin, nice? sweet ketchup. Because I'm a lot taller than you, crazy. I'm so and so and I'm, and it is full of sugar. Let me tell you, full of sugar. But that, I think it was Hidden Valley. Uh, oh, Catalina. I, it's, um, I don't even know what it is. It's ketchup and French dressing together, I think is what it is. So anyway, um, those were different times. We also made it from a packet, which brings me to my story. So in college, when I lived on my own, um, <laughs> my roommate and I, of course, finally got to go shopping for ourselves and we bought us some hamburger helper and we got some tortillas to make tacos. The first time we went shopping together, just we wanted to go shopping together because we wanted to figure out what each other's likes, right? Because we had just moved in together, we had been um, super close, and we had eaten together at super the cafeteria, oh, in the at school. So we kind of knew some things. We always picked off each other's plates. Oh, can you imagine picking off each other's plates right now? There's no sharing of the food right now. Oh my gosh, this crazy virus. Oh, not supposed to be touching my face either. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, where was I? Oh, so friends. So we went shopping together. Well, we, you know, made a list of like four or five things we wanted to make over the next few days. Um, and college girls, we made Tina's burritos. We made, whatever. It was like crazy town. All out of boxes. Um, just because we, that's what we knew how to make. It was fast. It was cheap. We needed cheap. Um, and I honestly, I did, wasn't caring about things like that. <laughs> things like that. I mean, I was drinking water because I knew I needed to drink water um, and going easy on the soda, but I still had a soda like every single day. Okay, seriously, this is not part of the story. Part of the story is 
we're walking down the aisles and we're like, I want to make tacos. Well, I want to make tacos too. So we grab some tortillas, we grab some ground turkey. And then we're like, you know, my mom makes amazing tacos. And she was like, my mom makes amazing tacos. And I was like, I bet my mom's are better than yours. And so we got into this whole debate. So we're at the grocery store and we're getting the things. You know, we pick up the tortillas, we pick up the sour cream, we picked up, um, oh, and at the time, non-fat sour cream. Oh my gosh. Ugh, gross, right? Ugh, full fat. Always want full fat. Um, <laughs> Uh, sour cream, we picked up the Catalina dressing because I was like, you have to try this because I was all about that. And then um, we got the tomatoes, we got some lettuce, and um, we go to the seasoning aisle. And I was looking around, and she was looking around, and we both went for the same Lowry's seasoning packet. And we looked at each other and we laughed. And I was like, my mom uses this. And she said, my mom uses this. It was the same thing. And it was hilarious, and we looked at each other, and we laughed, and we will still laugh about that story. Still not um, still not so it, it just it was hilarious, and I was like, these are the best, and she's like, these are the best, and we were talking about exactly the same thing. Um, but I just think it's so cool that we shared that memory, and we didn't grow up together. Um, my, one of my friends, Jen, that I went to college with. So Jen that we know now? No, different Jen. So, um, anyway, every family has their comfort food. And mine happens to be tacos. I mean, I have other things like french fries, but that's not something we made at home. That was always a treat. And, oh, I just feel so much better when I have good french fries. I still, like, I am a french fry queen. Like, I love them, and I have my favorite ones. And then I have ones that I refuse to eat because they are not worth the fried calories. But we all have that, right? We all have our different degrees of comfort food. And right now, with everything going on, with all the extra stress that is loaded on our regular amount of stress, we need some comfort food. We need to feel amazing. And for some reason, food does that. And not that food is love, but it just like, when your belly is full with something that is ooey and gooey and yummy and just reminds you of a simpler time, it is good stuff. So, once, what? Once you asked us last week to get you french fries. It's true. I had a bad day. Someone had a breakdown. So, someone had a breakdown. And, um, yeah, we almost had chili fries for dinner. We didn't. <laughs> but we almost did. I <laughs> ran around the house and I was like, if one more thing happens, we're ordering in chili fries for dinner. I don't want um, chili fries. Well, your dad and I too, and so you would have just been SOL. You would have had to make your own chicken nuggets or something for dinner. Hey. Mommy would have refused. Anyway. Um, Did I don't get french fries? So I just wanted to give you guys a couple ideas for your comfort meals, whether you're making macaroni and cheese or pizza <laughs> or whatever. Just make sure. This is my big tip, you guys, and I've refused. I mean, I'm, I've repeated this a bunch of times. But make sure that it is following the meal math that I have been telling you guys about. One green veggie, one bright veggie, one complex carb, one lean protein, and a healthy fat. When you get all those into your meals and then you watch your portion sizes a little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. good things happen, right? So let's say you want to make um, spaghetti. Okay. In the email that goes out about this. I talk about my mom's spaghetti sauce, just so you know. It is delicious. It is the most plain spaghetti sauce you have ever had, but oh, it makes me feel good. And um, whenever we go over there for dinner, it is one of the things that I ask for. Um, And instead of having noodles, these days we have zucchini noodles, which is kind of what I wanted to talk about. So in the spaghetti sauce, it is, okay, and I don't really know exactly what's in her spaghetti sauce because I don't have the recipe. My sister does. Um, It is tomato paste. It is tomato, crushed tomatoes. It is ground turkey or beef, whatever she has in the house. Um, It is gross, Holly. If you're going to be gross, you don't get to be in the video. Um, It is sauteed onions. um, And that's it. And some seeds. Oh, some bay leaves and some other seasonings. Um, And she just lets it go for like hours and it smells it makes the whole house smell amazing 
and it's awesome. So, you know, growing up, we of course had it on regular pasta, but now we would have it on zucchini pasta or shredded broccoli or um, over like chicken with a side of, I don't know, some sort of carb that is lovely, but not processed. So that is kind of what you wanna do. You wanna take the best pieces of what you were making before and add in or change them slightly to make it a little bit better, to lose the processed carbs, to lose the processed cheese. So like, let's say that you love Velveeta shells and cheese. I mean, who doesn't, right? But yeah. Velveeta is, no offense to anybody who loves Velveeta, it is a treat, it is not an everyday thing, and you can totally make something that tastes like Velveeta with cream cheese and real cheddar cheese. And you use the high fat cream cheese and high fat, like the regular, sorry, not high fat, regular, like regular cream cheese and regular cheddar cheese. Um, uh, and when you combine those two together with a little bit of real butter, the grass fed butter, good things happen, my friend. And it tastes just like that Velveeta. So, um, in the email that goes out about this, and if you are not on my email list, you can send me an email to risaauger at ymail.com. That's R-I-S-A-A-U-G-E-R at ymail.com, not Gmail, ymail. I'm gonna send out some recipes. I'm also posting comfort food recipes all week in the Facebook group. So if you want to join the Facebook group to get all those recipes, it is facebook.com slash groups slash happy healthy meals. And I hope that you love all of them and I wanna see your comments. And if you guys want anything specific, I will totally, totally send you something specific. Um, so this week, I would love to say that I'm making all comfort meals. Uh, I am making tacos tomorrow. They are going to be turkey tacos. They are gonna be half turkey and half mushroom. And, um, oh, sorry, half turkey, half black bean. Um, I'm using mushrooms some other time. Okay, so I, we, I'm we, i trying not to go to the grocery store. I really am not trying. To, I'm trying not to go to the grocery store. So I'm being really creative with the ingredients that we have and what we have. So I'm going, I did my meal plan, you guys. I did my meal plan. But notice that Friday is open and these two days are open. Like, I have no idea. These are like, I don't know. There's a bunch of question marks and there's like, mm, maybe I'll get this. But I, we can get through, oh, Thursday, Thursday dinner, and then Friday we're kind of SOL. So um, we can maybe get through Friday, like Friday lunch. But Friday night we're taking it, we're doing takeout. Um, if I don't go to the grocery store on Thursday. And Thursday my kid is gone, so she doesn't have to risk going to the grocery store. So I think I'm going to the grocery store on Thursday. Anyway. Um, so I'm making tacos, half turkey, half um, black bean tacos. And on the side, I'm gonna do a kale and bell pepper um, salad. And then um, on Wednesday, we are doing kind of a comfort meal. It's um, the cauliflower gnocchi, so it really has that pillowy pasta feel, but it's cauliflower, which is better. Um, so there's no like white flour in it, which is not good for your system. That said, we're also having, I'm putting broccoli in there. Oh, sorry, I'm making a broccoli salad with beets. And, oh no, where are we having our gnocchi? Cause I'm reading half of one recipe and half of another. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, okay, so the reason I'm doing half turkey, half black beans is that I'm saving the other half of my pound of ground turkey for the sauce, the tomato sauce that is going on the gnocchi. And um, I'm just gonna do the turkey and tomato sauce over the cauliflower gnocchi, and then I'm gonna make a really simple kale salad on the side. Um, the other salad, the broccoli salad, is going on Wednesday. We're gonna do grilled chicken, because I bought some chicken thighs, and we love them grilled just seriously in butter with a little bit of garlic, because that's the only way that my daughter will eat them. So that's how I'm gonna make them. Um, I'm going to put in on um, the side, sorry, on the side I'm making a broccoli salad with beets in it. And then I'm going to make like a rice quinoa mix. Um, I will probably be making white rice for my kid, but don't tell her I put half rice, half cauliflower rice, and she has no idea. 
So, yeah. Oh no, she's listening. So she may have heard that. I'm making white rice for the kid and uh, brown rice for us. And um, it is a really good side that is um, doesn't spike your blood sugars. And um, then I'm using, I'm gonna make extra rice because I'm going to give my husband that for lunch the next day. And it's a really easy thing to make extra of because you're already doing the pot and you're already do, um, it saves really well. So it's one of those things that when you're making it, it takes like half an hour to make it. So you might as well make extra and use it for leftovers, use it for other meals throughout the week. Um, it also, uh, you could freeze it if you want to. Just saying. Then you have like, if you put it in single serves and stick it in the fridge, then you have like single serve rice things that are freshly made by you and no chance of them being touched by weird oils and ingredients and you guys know how I get about that. Okay, tonight, tonight you guys is Meatless Monday and um, this is the last thing I will share for this because I have gone on long enough and my oven just dinged so it is time for me to make my dinner. So tonight I am going to um, do a baked eggs um, sort of a thing. So I'm going to do shredded Brussels sprouts and then I'm going to slice up some fennel and on top of that I'm going to put some eggs. I'm just going to open them and let them bake on top. Um, and then I'm also going to sprinkle it with some nutritional yeast because I feel like we need more protein than the number of eggs we have. We're down to three. We're down to three. And um, usually I eat two and my husband eats three. So I want one and he's gonna get two. And then we're gonna have some nutritional yeast and some Parmesan, which also has some protein in it. But remember that all the veggies that you have have protein in it. So we're just gonna add it all up together. Um, as a side, I am going to um, roast a squash, a delicata squash. They're really pretty. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna wash it first because, you know, gross. Um, but uh, I'm going to roast this while everything else bakes so that it softens. And um, that will be our healthy carb, our complex carb on the side. My husband is actually, I have some leftover potatoes from the weekend. So um, he'll probably get that plus some of the squash because I only have one. Because usually I'm the only one who eats this. But eh, the way that it went this week, he's going to get part of my squash and some potatoes. And unless he wants toast, I don't know. We have multi-grain toast with like the seeds on it. So it's like the healthiest toast you can possibly get, right? Um, anyway, that's what I'm making. I hope that these tips helped you. I hope that you check back in for some easy, yummy recipes that are some comfort meals that will make you feel good inside, give you some great energy, and be really great options moving forward for when you want to just make comfort meals just because. Oh, thanks for the love, sweetheart. Um, there are some likes going up on my screen. I love that. So anyway, thank you guys for being here. Join the Facebook group. Join my email. And um, I shall see you next week. Bye.